I'm always organizing things around the house. One time during winter break, I bought some foam inserts for my rolling toolbox and cut out slots for all my critical tools. I was so proud of that. For the next few days, I opened those drawers on my toolbox and admired how nicely my tools were organized in my toolbox. Now, my family acted like they were interested, but I could tell that I was more interested than they were. Another time, during a trip to Costco, on one of our monthly journeys, I found a labeler and I bought it for about $20. When Peggy, my wife, asked me, why'd you buy that labeler? I said, well, I don't know. Don't we sometimes just buy frivolous things at Costco and find uses for them later? I think we'll find a use for this labeler sometime in the future. Well, I got one of those looks that I tend to get. Now, afterwards, on some free time, I went down in our basement again, and we had a bunch of tubs that stored things from our many moves around the country. And I decided to put labels on those tubs so we could find things just in case we needed them. I was so proud of that. I brought my family down in the basement and showed them what I had done, and I was met with the enthusiasm of a yawn. But I was undeterred. Now, following that, little by little, Peggy was organizing the kitchen and pantry. And from time to time, she was buying plastic containers, taking things out of boxes, pouring them in the containers, and putting labels on them so that we couldn't lose the, the, the food items and also knew when they expired. And it seemed that the value of, la of the labeler was being realized. Now, also in the kitchen, when we wash the dishes, I'm the one that dries. Peggy likes to make sure she's cleaning everything the proper and right way. And what I find out is I never really understand some of the locations of things, especially our Pyrex. So one day, after having a particularly great meal, I'm drying some Pyrex and I'm putting it where it normally would be. But then I asked Peggy, I said, I see where we have the Pyrex but it's down low and it's stacked and it's pretty heavy. Wouldn't it be better in a, another location? To which she looked at me and said, don't mess with my toolbox and I won't mess with yours. And what I learned from that is she had a system and it worked and it made sense to her. And from my aspect, I shouldn't mess with that system because I'm pretty well fed and I really can't complain about any of the meals that she makes. The upshot of all of that is that she's committed to her system and approach and the rest of the family gets the clear benefits from her diligence. I hope this story provided you with some inspiration to revisit your own processes. I have a lot more I'd like to share. Head over to pi-partners.com to learn how I can help. And check back from time to time for more Kaizen stories.